Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Saviour will come. You need no longer fear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. Uh, good morning, everybody. And welcome to our Mass for this, the first Monday in the Advent season. We continue to open our hearts and to prepare ourselves to receive the Lord at his coming, particularly at Christmas time, but each day of our lives also. Now, there are a number of intentions that we remember in this Mass this morning. We remember to pray for Nessa Weldon, whose anniversary occurs and Anne-Marie Malloy, whose second anniversary occurs at this time. We're asked also to pray for a little special needs baby who needs our prayers and our support at this time. We bring to our own personal intentions and our many needs into God's presence. And we pause for a moment as we acknowledge our own need of God's mercy and his forgiveness in each of our lives. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep us alert, we pray, O Lord our God, as we await the advent of Christ your Son, so that when he comes and knocks, he may find us watchful in prayer, and exultant in his praise. For he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And we'll be seated now as we listen to our reading uh, from one of the great Advent prophets, the prophet Isaiah. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. That day the branch of the Lord shall be beauty and glory, and the fruit of the earth shall be the pride and adornment of Israel's survivors. Those who are left of Zion and remain of Jerusalem shall be called holy, and those left in Jerusalem noted down for survival. When the Lord has washed away the filth of the daughter of Zion, and cleanse Jerusalem of the blood shed in her with the blast of judgment and the blast of destruction. The Lord will come and rest on the whole stretch of Mount Zion and on those who are gathered there. A cloud by day and smoke and by night the brightness of a flaring fire. For over all, the glory of the Lord will be a canopy and a tent to give shade by day from the heat, refuge and shelter from the storm and the rain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. I rejoice when I heard him say, let us go to God's house. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. I rejoice when I heard him say, let us go to God's house. For the peace of Jerusalem, pray peace to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. I rejoice when I heard him say, let us go to God's house. 
For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. I rejoice when I heard you say, let us go to God's house. Gospel acclamation. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into Capernaum, a centurion came up and pleaded with him. Sir, he said, my servant is lying at home paralyzed and in great pain. I will come myself and cure him, said Jesus. The centurion replied, Sir, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Just give the word and my servant will be cured. For I am under authority myself and of soldiers under me. And I say to one man, go, and he goes. To another, come here, and he comes to my servant. Go and do as he does to another. Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you solemnly, nowhere in Israel have I found faith like this. And I tell you that many will come from east and west to take their places with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven. And this is the gospel of the Lord. And let us pray. Lord, as we begin our celebration of the season of Advent during these days, we ask you to give to each one of us a spirit of openness and preparedness to welcome the Lord among us at his coming. Lord, hear us. And as we prepare ourselves to welcome the Lord in a sincere and meaningful way, we ask you to help us to take out of our lives those things that may hinder us in different ways, our selfishness, our greed, our pride, or whatever it is that may be a bar barrier between ourselves and a genuine welcome for the Lord. Lord, hear us. We pray also that these weeks of Advent may be a time for each of us to renew and to refresh our faith. Lord, hear us. And for the needs of the wider community, we pray also, and for the needs of the wider world, particularly for all those who suffer in any way. Lord, hear us. And in silence now we speak our own deepest needs to the Lord, and as we ask his help to use this Advent season in a meaningful way. Lord, hear us. Lord God, you know the deepest needs of the human heart. You know all our prayers and concerns. We bring all of them to you, together with our prayer of gratitude, and we pray and hope that you'll hear our prayers and grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, it is the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who was so humble as to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. It is the fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. 
with humble spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us from all our sins. Let us now pray, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, these offerings we make, gathered from among your many gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we join in our hymn of praise to your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Dermot, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And in particular, we remember all those we prayed for by name at the beginning of this Mass and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we stand now, please, as we pray in the words that Jesus gave us as we call God our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with each one of you. So now let us offer to each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, though your de death give life to the world, free us by this, your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep all of us safe for eternal life.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. And the communion antiphon. Come, O Lord, visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a blameless heart. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is now ended, so we go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Miraculous Medal Novena. Most Holy Virgin, I believe and confess your holy and immaculate conception, pure and without sin. O most pure Virgin, through your virginal purity, your immaculate conception, your glorious prerogative of, mother, of being the Mother of God, obtain for us from your divine Son humility, charity, great purity of mind and body, the gift of prayer, a holy life, and a happy death. Amen. Remorari. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled from your, to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we found to you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, Despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. The Act of Confidence. O Immaculate Virgin, Mother of Mercy, Refuge of Sinners, who by a wondrous revelation of St. Catherine did promise that all who confidently wear the miraculous medal and come to your altar repeating the prayer, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee, would receive abundant graces. We poor sinners, encouraged by your promise, come with the utmost confidence to implore your powerful intercession. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Mother, penetrate us with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal. We, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favours we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You knowest, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his gracious glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the Queen of angels and of men. Amen. The Act of Consecration. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. 
May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O Virgin most powerful, Mother of our Saviour, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary conceived without sin. O Mary conceived without sin. O Mary conceived without sin.